everyone. Razor here again. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, two versions of a pumpkin melon farm. One version is a piston version, and the other is the block dispenser version. So first up is pistons. So what's going to happen is and you need two rows of planters and a water stream. One row of planters needs to have sticky pistons all along the bottom. And when you're harvesting them, the sticky pistons will push up, and then the regular pistons will push those items out into the water stream. Now let me show you the wiring for this. It's actually pretty simple. I just use a reed bio clock. And how this works is basically when the reeds grow up to the block detector it uh, sucks in the reed to the block dispenser and then replants it. And that signal from the block detector will signal a monostable that will cause all of these sticky pistons to push up. This will break all the pumpkins and melons into pieces and then I have a delay before the regular pistons fire to make sure that all of the uh, planters are, have been pushed up. This will give you pumpkin blocks and melon slices. Now the, the next version is the block dispenser version and what this does is basically just suck up all of the melons and pumpkins by themselves. Here you just saw a harvest cycle. What happens with the block dispensers is their default state is off. And they'll pull when they're going to harvest they'll pulse on and then go back to their initial state so they'll suck up any extra pumpkins or melons that are out there. Now you may be asking why would I ever want to make a block dispenser farm? Because block dispensers are so expensive and mossy cobblestone is so rare. Well the reason for that is to get melon blocks and make melon structures or use the melons for decoration. That's about the only reason you'd go for block dispenser over pistons other than the fact that it has 16 storage locations, so that's 16 stacks of pumpkins and melons per block dispenser. So, as you can see, you'll end up with more melon and pumpkins than you ever know what to do with. I have absolutely no use for any of that. But it's really not that hard to make. So I'll see you next time.